G'day folks and welcome to another tutorial. Um, today we're going to start talking about the shift instructions. So we've got four to get through here. Shift right, shift left, shift arithmetic right, and shift arithmetic left. And um, we'll do two next tutorial and then after that we'll look at um, rotate instructions. Okay, so first of all, the um, four that we'll look at today um, this is the parameters. The first can be a register or memory. Oops. And the second can be either IMM8 or CL. So the only register we can use for the second parameter is um, CL, the count register, 8-bit count register. And um, yeah, or an immediate 8 value. 8-bit immediate value. Okay, so let's have a look what they do. First of all, um, we'll look at shift right. If we've got in AL something like this bit pattern, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0 1, 1, 0, for example, and um, maybe the uh, code we've written says something like this, shift AL right, and we'll say maybe 4, this is what's going to happen. Okay, so first of all, we're shifting right. So what I'm going to do here is put a little arrow and say carry flag just off the right-hand side of our register. And then I'm going to draw a line just beside that, or a big box, really. And um, we'll say discarded. Okay, this is what's going to happen. It's um, going to take this register, or the value in this register, and uh, that's that's what we started at. It's going to shift that right four times. So that's once, that's twice, that's three times, and that's four times. Alrighty, so we can see here that what's happened is um, these three bits are now discarded. They're past the discard line, so they're gone. The lighter follows. And we can also see that the carry flag in this particular instance has been set to zero. Okay, so the carry flag zero, um, AL has now got a one in it, and then uh, two zeros. But what comes in on the left? Well, for shift right, zeros come in on the left. Okay, so that'll be our final value in AL. after the CPU executes this instruction. Okay, that's um, shift right. Let's have a look at shift left. Rewind, rewind. Actually, I might put that back again. This, actually, no, we don't. Okay, so for a left shift, um, something like SHL, and um, we'll use AL again since I've drawn it at the top. Uh, we might do five this time. Um, for a left shift, the carry flag is going to be at the uh, left-hand side. And right beside it, as before, we've got our discard. Anything past this line just here is going to be discarded. Alright, what's it going to do? Pretty easy, really, if we've seen the um, shift right. This is what it's going to do. So here's our first value, the initial value of AL. It's going to shift that right five times. So that's once, that's twice, three times, four times, five times. Alrighty, so we can see that once again we've got a zero in our carry flag. Um, these four bits just over here have been um, discarded. Get rid of them. And what comes in on the right hand side? Well, it's pretty simple really. It's zeros. Alrighty. So what do they actually do? Well, um, they're effectively multiplying or dividing by a power of two. Unsigned multiply or divide by a power of two. So um, shift right, uh, reg, and we'll just say NO for number is the same as reg 
equals reg um, divided by 2 to the power of n o. Alrighty, so shift right um, a l 4 is the same as a l equals a l divided by um, 2 to the power of 4. The uh, interesting thing to note is that shifting is much quicker than actually dividing. So if you've got to divide by a power of 2, it's always better to shift instead of um, use the idiv or div instruction. And the other way, um, shifting left, let's just put an R here. Is this, oh, that's not an, let's put an L there instead since we're talking about shifting left. Um, this is the same as multiplying by a power of 2. So. Shift left, reg and no is the same as um, the register equals the register times um, 2 to the power of no. Sorry, I should put reg equals. Okay, so shift left, um, let's use bx. Uh, 5 is the same as bx equals bx um, times 2 to the power of 5. Once again, um, shift left is quicker than the uh, imul or mul instruction. So uh, if you can get away with it, it's better to multiply by shifts instead of um, using the multiply instruction. Alrighty, there is a problem with all of this that we just said. Um, it multiplies and divides by a power of 2 so long as we're using unsigned numbers. If we're using signed numbers and the number happens to be negative, there's problems. Let's have a look. File new s. Alrighty. What's up in my grid? Okay, let's have a look. So um AL again we'll use equals maybe one zero 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 one 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 one. Okay, AL is if we're thinking about it as a signed number, which we will for this example, um, we know that this leftmost bit here is the signed bit. We also know that AL at the moment, because it's got that sign bit set, uh, AL is currently representing a negative number. We don't know what it is, we'd have to um, flip all of these over and then add one, you know, do the neg instruction. But we know that it's negative. So let's see what happens if we um, divide that with our shift right. Shift right AL, let's just divide it by 2, shall we? Um, it's the same as shifting right 1. Okay, this is what's going to happen. Alrighty, that's our initial value. We shift it right once. And we see that we've now got a 1 in the carry flag. But, more importantly, uh, over here in the gap, as we said, a 0 will come in. And what does this mean? Well, this means that we've just um, divided a negative number by 2 and the sign bit has changed to positive. So that can't happen. Any negative number divided by a positive is going to give you another negative number. So this is very, very wrong. That's not going to give you the right answer. And it's exactly for this reason that um, SAR, Shift Arithmetic Right, was invented. It's for um, dividing signed negative numbers. Let's have a look at how it works. Okay, we can get rid of that. S A R A L. Um, let's use four, shall we? Okay, so we're going to divide by um, two to the power of four here. This is what S A R does. First of all, the bit shifting is exactly the same. So we're going to shift um, four times to the right. That's one, two, three, and four which means that we've ended up with a 1 in our carry flag and these ones over here are gone but most importantly um, the difference between SAR and SHR is that instead of filling the um, left hand side with zeros it fills it with whatever the sign bit was so in this instance the sign bit was a 1 so um, ones come in the other side, in the left-hand side. 
which means that we've still got a negative number and uh, this answer here is actually very close to um, yeah, AL divided by 2 to the power of 4. No worries if we had a positive number rewind, let's say we had a 0 here and we did our shift right of 4 our SAR of 4, sorry, we go 1, 2, 3, 4 so once again we've ended up with the same number in the sign bit uh, sorry, the carry flag and since the initial value of the sign was 0 um, zeros come in the left hand side so yeah that'll give us AL equals AL divided by 2 to the power of 4 whether AL has got a positive number or a negative number there is something to be very careful of and that's that um, SAR shift arithmetic right we'll just write it here shall we rounds um, negative divisions toward negative infinity and div or divide which would be uh, i div i div or div rounds towards zero so it won't always give you exactly the same answer as um, the divide instruction but it's pretty close um, and it's much quicker, as we said. It's much quicker to shift bits than to actually do the divide. Alrighty, so we did have up on the um, first screen four instructions. We also had uh, SAL, which is um, shift arithmetic left. But this one's going to be really easy to describe because um, if you're shifting left, um, SAL and SHL are exactly the same. Let me just put an arrow there like that. When the compiler sees either of these two, um, they'll produce exactly the same machine code. There's no difference, but um, we're free to type whichever one we want. So these two instructions are aliased. Alrighty. There's a lot of instructions actually that are alias together, so it doesn't matter what we type, we get exactly the same machine code. Okay, so that's um, shift left, shift right, shift arithmetic left, and shift arithmetic right. Use them to divide by powers of two. And uh, thank you for listening.